Hey y'all, um, so I do have some auction lots I'm gonna be opening from shopgoodwill.com that I'll be sharing in just a minute. But before we do so, I did wanna open my subscription box from Kristen D because it just arrived yesterday. So it's a perfect time to share it. This is my monthly jewelry subscription. This is my April box. So let's go ahead and get this open. They do run $34.99 a month. She does run these off of her Patreon and you get six branded items shipped to you. That price does include shipping. So I will have all of that information linked in my description box in case you're interested in signing up along with her channel if you're not subscribed yet. So let's take a first look and I'm seeing some beautiful items in here. Sorry about the barking dogs. I'm in the outdoor room, so hopefully it won't be too loud. Um, so we got our card and it is already April. I can't believe it. Um, so we got six pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So first up we have this stunning bracelet. It is multiple layers of kind of bluish green beads. And um, I put this information in the next part of the video, but I will be offering items for sale. So if you see anything that you're interested in, just send me an email. Um, so let's see what um, brand this is here. So this is marked on the inside of the bracelet. Um, and it's, it's hard to see, um, but it's right there. It's Banana Republic. So that's fabulous. Beautiful colors and definitely a substantial statement bracelet. So I really like that. Very nice for the spring and summer season. It is um, kind of cool on the metal, so it feels good on the skin and a nice size. It's not too big. So I like that one a lot. Banana Republic jewelry usually does pretty well for me. Um, next up, I think we have a necklace here. This is Gold Tone and this is J. Crew. So it is a long station necklace. It has the Senorita class, gold tone, and then the long stations of uh, faceted clear rhinestones. So very pretty. I will just zoom out a little bit so you can see the full necklace. But that is really, really nice. Definitely a piece that you could wear with anything. So great item. I love J. Crew, as you guys know. Next up, we have a new on the card item. And this is from Express from uh, October of 2015. And it did have a original price on it of $39.90. And this is a black metal with gorgeous clear rhinestones. And it's like a, um, well, it is a black metal. Um, it's not a cord, so black metal. And then a double layer of these spiky clear rhinestones. So that is beautiful. Very nice statement necklace that you could dress up or down. And it does have an extender in there. So great piece. Absolutely awesome getting something brand new. Next, I think we have some earrings. And these are really cute. A very small kind of almost um, huggy hoop. They are post back. So those are fantastic. They have three layers of the gold tone and then there is the clasp there. Very easy to open. Some of those little huggy hoops can be hard to open. And these are Liz Claiborne. So those are great and they're not too heavy. So a nice way to get a little bit of a statement without weighing down your ears. So I really like those and they are in great condition. Liz Claiborne Huggy Hoops. Awesome, awesome. 
And we have a brooch, and isn't that cute? It is a two-tone metal, matte silver tone with gold tone um, little blocks. So that would be really sweet to put on, um, you know, like a baby gift to, you know, attach to the ribbon or something like that, or even to make into an ornament. And that's JJ. I love JJ brooches. They're always so fun. Um, this one is in great condition. Vintage brooch. The pin works very well. And there's your signature. So that's a great piece. And lastly, we have guests. I do like selling guest jewelry also. They do make some really fun pieces. And this is a charm necklace. Really, really cool, blingy. So you have your guest logo. And then a little kind of dog tag that says guest with clear rhinestones. Very cool. And this one is in great shape as well. I'm not seeing any wear to it. A silver tone chain with an extender. So that would be a cool piece to layer up or just wear on its own. Kind of Y2K looking. Very, very nice. So this, this box was excellent. Um, you know, enough where if you're a reseller, that you can make a profit on these boxes um, or even to get some fun pieces for yourself. It's a great value. Six branded pieces for $34.99. So I love getting these boxes every month. Um, they're always great. Um, just to give a recap, we got the gas necklace with the charms, the adorable JJ brooch, the Liz Claiborne, um, really fun huggy hoops in gold tone. We had the beautiful statement necklace from Express, brand new on the card. Awesome. We had the J. Crew station necklace, gold tone with the clear rhinestones. And the fabulous Banana Republic um, bracelet. So I love this box. Thank you so much, Kristen, for always putting together a fabulous box. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and we will move forward with our auction lots. So thank you so much for tuning in to this bonus video and I'll be right back. Everyone and welcome to a very special bonus unboxing. I am going to be unboxing a few lots I purchased from shopgoodwill.com. So I am excited to share those with you. Um, I believe it's going to be mostly costume, but there are also some vintage pieces and some sterling silver also. So um, we will open them together and see what I received. If you're new to my channel, my name's Lindsay. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. I normally post content Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, but I do throw in bonus videos, so make sure you also hit the bell notification for me when you subscribe. And if you enjoy the content tonight, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Um, and I do uh, offer the items for sale uh, on a direct purchase from me through YouTube. All I would need you to do is send me an email and include your mailing address if you've never purchased from me before. I would also need a screenshot of the item you're interested in or a timestamp with a brief description. And I would send you an invoice through PayPal. So um, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got in these lots. I am seeing some good pieces. Um, there's some J. Crew and Coach. So let's dive in and take a look. Here is the first lot. And I am seeing J. Crew and Coach and maybe a watch in here. So um, let's get started. I will either put a price on the screen or um, give you a price verbally. So this item does come in the box, J. Crew, and it says earrings on it. And you come in this case. Um, I am not actually seeing any jewelry in here, but it is a jewelry pouch, like a travel pouch that you can um, roll up. 
and there is a bit of a mark there. I will see if I can get that out and put that on the screen. Um, but it is marked um, J. Crew there, and it is like a satin material. Um, so a couple marks on it. I will see if I can get that cleaned up, but that is very nice for travel, and it does include the box. Next up, we have a necklace on a wire. It's like an illusion necklace with really pretty blue beads. And this one is signed. It is Leah Sophia. So that is nice. Um, really, really pretty um, blues and greens on there. It is a three wire illusion necklace and it appears to be in good condition. I'm not really seeing any major wear to it. It could use a little bit of a wipe down, but overall it looks pretty good. Um, we'll do $5 on that one if anyone's interested. There's another illusion necklace here. This one is also branded and this one is Chico's. So um, really pretty silver tone and then it has some textured silver tone discs on it. And this one looks to be in pretty good condition also. I'm not really seeing any discoloration or anything like that. So we'll do $5 on that one also. We have a coach item and that comes with the dust bag. And awesome. So um, I'm going to sell these items separately. So um, this item I will include with the dust bag. Um, it is a really nice keychain. And this has a lot of weight to it. It is a cream enamel with gold tone. And then it does have the coach hang tag there. And the coach on the back. There is scratching on the back. Um, but overall, it is in pretty good condition. So I will put a price on the screen for that. And again, that will include the pouch. And next, we did have um, some earrings. And let me check the pouch to see if the other earring was in the bottom there. So um, I believe we just have the three studs. We did get a backer, but it is missing the other earring. So um, there is the horseshoe studs, um, which are very cute. And then um, there's one rhinestone stud. So these originally um, were on the card. I think they are brand new. I'm not seeing any wear to them. Um, so we'll just do $6 on those, um, and I will send the whole set, even though that just comes with the one earring. Um, but really cute um, horseshoe studs. Next, I have a cream enamel bangle bracelet. And this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. This one is marked um, J. Crew. So that is great. And um, overall, really good condition on the outside. There are some marks on the interior, but not a huge deal. So that's what it looks like on. Very neutral piece and nice for spring and summer. So we'll do um, $5 on that one. I have a couple watches here. Um, first up is Kate Spade. And I think I have a similar one listed in my Poshmark closet right now. Um, I believe this is the Gramercy watch. So um, this one looks like it's in pretty good condition. There may be a faint scratch on the face. Um, it does need a new battery, so I will get that replaced and make sure that it works. There is some wear on the metal along the band, but nothing too bad. Um, just some wear and scratching. And let's take a look at the sizing on this one. And where it comes apart. 
So this one is definitely on the larger side, so it would have room to remove links. And the closure is pretty hidden. So you just come at it from the bottom to open. And let me get a measurement on this so we can see where we're at, but it's definitely, um, you know, fits at a larger wrist right now. So um, currently it's sitting about a seven and a half. Um, you know, but like I said, you could get links taken out of it if you need smaller, but that's good that we do have the extra links. So there's some room there. I will make sure that it's working and put a price on the screen for that one. And our next watch is an Anne Klein. And this one actually has the protective plastic on it. So the face is in very good condition. It does have the large numbers on it, so it's a easy read. It is a rose gold with a stretch band, um, with a stretch band, and this one is in working condition. It already is ticking. And I think this one's pretty much brand new. So we'll do 15 on this one if anybody's interested. That's how that one looks on. Very nice. So super rare to get a watch that doesn't need a battery put in. And the stretch bands are nice because they fit everybody for the most part. And next up we have a J. Crew statement necklace. This one has gray colored stones, um, blue, and then these um, hot pink colors. And we do have all of the rhinestones there. This one does show a bit of color loss um, on the clasp and the extender um, shows a bit of wear, but overall it is in good condition. And there's the back of it. Um, we'll do $8 on that piece. Very pretty. more um, J. Crew statement necklaces. Um, this one is stunning. Um, it has a little bit um, extra to it, an extra layer. Really pretty teal pink um, and then the dark blue. And this one does have the Senorita clasp. It does show a little bit of wear but in pretty good condition. So on this one, we will do um, $12. Very pretty. That would be awesome for spring and summer with a dress. A lot of colors to work with in there. So $12 on that one. Next, we have a pendant by Leah Sophia. And um, that may be a real stone in there. It is cold to the touch. It kind of looks like a crazy lace agate. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but that's what it reminds me of. And it is on a silver tone. There is some wear on the bail, a little bit of gunk in there, so it will need a cleaning. Um, but otherwise, it looks like it's in good shape. Um, we'll do $4 on that. Another J. Crew um, statement necklace. This one is missing a stone, unfortunately. So right there, we are missing a stone. Um, this one is really, really pretty with the projection on the clusters. So I might see if I have a stone where I can fix that up because um, it is too nice to put into craft. Um, the chain and everything is in really good condition. So I will see if I can get that fixed up and um, put some info on the screen about that one. But that is beautiful. So really our first item that is damaged other than missing that one stud earring. And next we have an acrylic floral collar necklace. Um, these are like a light purple-ish gray. Very, very pretty faceted flower petals with the rhinestone centers. 
And um, this one is in good condition on the chain. And the back of it is in very good shape as well. It doesn't look like this one has been worn too much. So we'll do $12 on this piece also. And our last item in this lot, and the missing earring was not at the bottom of the bag, unfortunately. Um, this is really cute. Um, J. Crew again. And it has some fluorescent yellow and um, antique gold tone. And there's the J. Crew. So we'll do $8 on this one. It's in very good shape. So that was an excellent lot. I'm really happy about that one. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much I paid for it. It did not come with a receipt. So I will have to look it up, but um, you know, always good to get all branded pieces. The next lot we have, I think was just put into this box. They are some sterling silver bracelets. And I will make sure that these are all tested and I will put that info on the screen. So there are, there's one bracelet, there's two, that one's a little bit thicker, we have that one, and then this one is a ball chain. So very pretty. Um, so we'll number them one, two, three, and four. It looks like they're all in good condition. Um, this one does show a bit of tarnish on it. So like I said, I will test all of them and put a measurement. Again, number one, two, three, and four. And I will put the measurement on the screen. Um, but those are just kind of very simple um, layering bracelets. Um, these ones are a little bit thicker, but um, all of them are in pretty good shape other than the patina on that one. So we'll move those out of the way. I'll try to move um, fairly quickly through this. Next lot is um, mostly J. Crew, I think. Um, I do see some Leah Sophia on there. And if you were curious, I did purchase this from Cleveland, Ohio. I believe there were three or four lots total. And then I did the combined shipping. So first up, we have a really large pair of J. Crew statement earrings. These are like a tan color with gold. And um, they are post back brand new on the card and they are marked J Crew on the back and the back is kind of like a, a probably a faux leather so they do have a little bendability to them they're not super heavy um very pretty i will put a price on the screen for those next up we have some trafari 14 karat gold posts and these are really nice um, textured and they kind of are like a triangle shape. And these ones, it looks like the posts are just slightly bent, but that should be easy enough to move back into shape. Um, but those are really, really nice and brand new. So I will put a price on the screen for those. Next, we have a Park Lane. These are pierced earrings. I'm assuming silver tone. And they do have um, like a black faceted um, stone in the center. Really lightweight. Um, they were made exclusively for Park Lane. So just costume earrings. Um, brand new. I will put a price on the screen for those. Next up, we have Lauren Conrad. Um, this one is just slightly tangled because it's a multi-layer necklace. So I'm just trying to see exactly how that goes. I'm gonna zoom out just a little. So um, this one has some different pendants. There's a giraffe. And um, that one is uh, VE, I guess for love. So there's two separate necklaces. There's the giraffe. And 
and then the VE. So there's two necklaces. I don't know if there was supposed to be three at one point. Um, it did have an original price of $18. We'll just do $5 um, for the set of these. And if you guys do need a measurement on anything that I did not provide in the video, um, just let me know in the comments or your email and I'd be happy to provide that for you. Okay, and we have some brooches here. Um, this is a JJ brooch, um, really, really cute for a realtor. It's a for sale um, home with a calculator, a phone, a contract, a pen, and a sold sign. There is just a little bit of a blue mark right there. And our pin back, let's see if that works. So yes, the pin does work and it is signed um, JJ. So this is a vintage brooch. We'll do $6 on this really really cute and there is another one here and um this one is like a southwestern themed i have never seen this one before it has um donkeys on it and um i guess like a coyote Looks like some boomerangs. Um, really, really neat piece. And this one is um, signed uh, JJ, and I think it says 1988 on it. Let me check that. JJ 1988. And that one also has a functioning pin. So um, we'll do $6 on that one as well. Really, really neat. And we have a real stunner here. It's another necklace or two tangled. Um, really, really cute um, collar necklace with acrylic rhinestones, these floral. And I think everything is present there. It has a felt back and a ribbon cord with an extender. And this one is Talbot's. So very nice piece and um, really good condition. Very nice statement piece. Next up, we have a long necklace. And this one is like a long station necklace. And I believe that is um, Simply Vera, Vera Wang for Kohl's. And it is a gunmetal chain. And there's um, faux pearls um, that are like a purple and then clear rhinestones. Um, it does show a little wear there. But I think everything is present on it. Um, we'll just do $4 on that one. Um, nice long station necklace. And this one was kind of tangled with it. Um, this is Liz Claiborne. Um, another one that's gunmetal, and then it does have the um, rhinestone pendants on it. Very pretty. So um, we'll just do $4 on that one too. Um, this one is in good shape. So next up, we have these um, new on the card, Leah Sophia. Um, they are kind of like a dream catcher looking um, Southwestern style with um, turquoise colored enamel and beautiful red rhinestones. And they are post back. They do have mismatched um, backers on there. I will um, change that out so they match. 
um, and they may show just a little bit of tarnish on the post from storage, but otherwise I think they're brand new. So I will put a price on the screen for those. Next, we have a brand new necklace from White House Black Market. And these have um, like a faux leather tassel. And they're a burgundy color. And then a long gold chain. So it comes down to like a lariat. And then you have your two tassels. And this one is marked with the White House Black Market hang tag. right there and it is brand new the oh it is genuine leather on the tassel so that's good to know and i don't see a um, retail price on that one so i will put a price on the screen but that is an interesting piece very pretty colors Next, we have a stretch bracelet in silver tone. This one is marked, and I believe it's Trafari. Um, no, Leah Sophia. Leah Sophia stretch bracelet. So that's cute. It's got a waved pattern on it. And there is just a little bit of minor scratching and maybe a dent there but otherwise it looks like it's in good condition. Ooh, we have a nice size ring here. Um, it's got some nice uh, metal work on it. This one is also Leah Sophia. So a nice um, square cocktail ring in silver tone metal. And this ring Is coming in just above an eight, so about seven and three quarter on that one. And um, I really don't think this has been worn that much. It's in great condition. I don't see any um, real scratching or anything on it. So um, I will put a price on the screen for this piece. Next up, we have another kind of mixed media necklace. And um, I believe these are acrylic and then they're in a black ribbon, black and white striped. And this one is Express. So that's pretty. It could use a bit of a cleaning, but I think overall it is in pretty good condition. We'll do $5 on that. And next is this really dainty um, silver tone and gold tone. And this one is stamped LC. So I do believe it is Liz Claiborne. And it is magnetic. It does have the look of a sterling piece. I don't know if she made sterling, but it is coming up magnetic. Next up, we have another stretch bracelet, and this one is Chico's, and um, really nice um, blue beads, darker and light. So that is a fun piece, and it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Next, we have a matte gold tone um, chain link necklace. And this one is Kenneth Cole. And it does have the lobster clasp with an extender, matte gold tone. And this one is in good condition. It does show a little bit of wear, but nothing too bad. Um, so we will do $5 on that one. Very nice. Um, 
next one I'm probably going to have a really hard time showing. This is all beads. And I believe these are acrylic and it does show um, some scratching on these. This is also, um, is it Chico's or Express? This one is Express. So it is super long. It is three layers of all these faceted beads. And it definitely shows um, scratching and it could use a wipe down. Um, but I think everything is present here. So definitely a statement piece and it does have weight to it. Here is the clasp. So it's a gunmetal um, chain. So really cool piece. It is heavy. So um, just keep that in mind for shipping purposes. Um, but that's a cool piece. And next we have another necklace. Um, this one kind of looks like Chico's. So this is silver tone with blue beads. Necklace is loft. And I'm not really sure where it's supposed to connect here. Um, if it was originally two layers or not. But I would say that this metal is showing quite a bit of wear. Um, and, you know, looking at that, it is showing quite a bit of discoloration. And I'm not sure about the clasp. So on this one, I'm just going to put into craft for a dollar. So that's really the first piece that had significant wear, I would say. Next up, we have another Express necklace. And this one is kind of on a black cord with um, little gold stations. And this one looks like in okay condition. Um, it does have the extender on the clasp, um, like a choker length. So that would be a cool layering piece. We'll just do $3 on that. Next is another LC piece. This one might be Lauren Conrad possibly. It looks like her style. Um, a really cute um, double layer with a, a branch and then a rhinestone. And it is gold tone. And there is some color loss on the extender. So on this one, we'll just do $2. But um, a really sweet dainty necklace. And on this one, we have just a single earring here. I didn't see that anything that that went with. So that'll probably go into craft. Um, we have another LC piece. And this is a uh, bracelet with some cabochons. They're like a cream pink colored um, gold tone metal. It has a lobster clasp and this one is in good condition. So on this one, we'll do $4. That is a nice piece. And our last item is a toggle clasp bracelet. And this is Kenneth Cole. So it does match that other necklace that we looked at earlier. Um, it's uh, got the chains and then some little um, charms dangling down with the toggle clasp. So on this one, um, I think we did $5 on the necklace. We'll do $4 on the bracelet. Very pretty. And this one is in good, in good shape. So this was another um, really good lot. Um, nice brands in here. And um, I think there was some really good pieces. So we have one more lot to go through. And I believe that this is all vintage in this one. I see some cameos and pearls. And 
what a cool ring this is. It is adjustable. And I would not think that there was sterling in this lot, but it kind of looks like it. So let's see if there's any markings on this ring. I didn't see any. Looks like an artisan piece. And it's not magnetic, so let's see if we can go ahead and test this one. So no, this one is just um, scratching copper, so it's not sterling. So I'm gonna do a Google image search of that one and I'll put a price on the screen. But let's go ahead and get a size. This one is um, down to an eight, but it is a little bit thicker band and there is some adjustability to it, but um, a really cool ring. So I'll put that there. Next we have a pendant and this has a courting couple scene on it. And I don't see a marking on this one, but it reminds me of the Limoges. Um, really nice gold tone. So I will put a price on the screen for that piece. And this one's really nice. Um, it's a cameo style brooch. Um, and this might just be acrylic, but it's bl a black background and then it has the yellow floral on it in an antique gold tone. And there is some wear on the metal and on the back. But that is a cool piece. I don't see any markings on it. So this one is sign um, President's Recognition Program, Avon 1998 through 99. And it does have a working clasp and some wear on the back. And this is like a Antaglio um, cameo. So it's cut from behind. And it does have uh, rhinestones on it. Um, and you can see the face that's carved in there. Very cool. Um, I will put a price on the screen for that one. And then the bottom says PC for the President Collection. So that's pretty cool. I've never seen that one before. We have a large cross brooch with faux pearls and gold tone metal. It looks like everything is there and it's in good shape. The pin is working. I don't see any maker's marks on that one. So I'll put a price on the screen for that. We have a tiny little brooch here, really pretty floral. And that one does have a working back as well, no maker's mark. So I'll put a price on the screen for that. Ooh, this is a cool one. Um, it's got a green cameo and this is a locket and it does open and there's a picture in there. So does definitely shows some wear on the inside and on the back, some color loss and scratches. Um, it is a pendant, um, but really pretty. I like that one. And we have another cameo. This one is left facing, um, a brooch with hearts on it. This one's also unmarked. Working pin. And very cool. Really some unique pieces in the slot. We have another cameo here. This one looks like it might be more of a modern piece. And I'm not sure if we're possibly missing something here. It looks a little bit asymmetrical, but I can't really tell. Um, this one is marked. I can't really make out the backer on this one. Um, it's really tiny and it shows wear. 
So I might try to do a Google search on that one and then I'll put some info on the screen. Um, but that's a cool piece. Next, we have another brooch. This one's really nice, this cameo. It does have a little projection on it. It looks like a, it's probably an older piece. And um, really, really nice condition on this one. So I will put a price on the screen for that. We have a pendant here. And this is gold tone and um, like a yellow-ish um, enamel on it. And there is some wear definitely to the metal. Um, we'll just do $3 on that. We have a bar brooch here, gold tone. And this one, let's make sure the pin is working. Yep, it is. It's really secure on that one which is a nice thing. Um, that one's in really good condition. I'll put a price on the screen. Next, we have a pearl necklace. And this is the one that has a clasp where you could either wear it to the front or the back. Um, beautiful rhinestones on that. And it's definitely on the shorter side. See, we can do a drop measurement on this one. So it is um, just shy of an eight inch drop. So definitely on the shorter side, two layers. So um, this one's in pretty good shape. It does show some wear. I will put a price on the screen for that piece. We have another brooch here with a flower center, really small. This one is marked Amco. God's love is with you always. And that one does have a working pin. Um, we'll just do $2 on that one, it's real tiny. We have another um, pearl necklace here. This one is, um, not signed, there is some wear on the clasp. And um, it's in good condition though. I believe those are glass pearls. We'll do $5 on that piece. And this kind of matches the other um, necklace, at least the style of it. It's a bracelet. And this one you push down. And you push, you push down and pull out. Um, so that's really cool. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Does show some wear. Um, these are all vintage pieces for the most part. And um, we can get a measurement on this one quick. So that one, um, the total length measurement, including the clasp. So that's a nice piece. And just a few more necklaces. This piece definitely seems to show some wear on it. Really, really cool style though, but there is discoloration on the metal. And that one, I do not see a maker on it. And it is magnetic. Next, we have a really, really pretty rhinestone necklace. And this is um, green 
floral and silver tone metal. This one is Premier Designs. So you do have the marking there. Um, really dainty chain. There is um, some wear on the chain over here, some discoloration. Um, we'll do $3 on this one. Um, very interesting piece. I've never seen that one before from Premier Designs. We have a bracelet next. And this is silver tone with some AB rhinestones on it. And it is a toggle clasp. And this one, I don't see a maker on it. So on this one, we'll just do $4. Very pretty with the um, AB stones on there. Next, we kind of have like a coin style dangle necklace. And this is an antique gold tone. I don't see a maker on it. Um, this one also shows quite a bit of wear and discoloration. We'll do $2 on that. But a neat piece. And next we have this pearl and rhinestone on silver tone. This one also does not have a maker on it. Um, but a really sweet, um, dainty necklace. Has a nice um, drop on the bottom level. Um, we'll just do um, $3 on that one. That's cute. And our last piece is this necklace. And this one is marked, I believe. This one is Avon. It is signed on the hang tag, and it is um, like an antique brass tone, and um, really pretty stones on it. I think everything is present there. Um, we'll do $3 on that one. That is nice, and that is our last item. So I thought these were really good lots. I'm very happy with everything for the most part. There was really no duds or anything in there other than a couple with some wear. So I'm excited to do some research on the vintage pieces and some of the other um, new with uh, tag items were great. So I appreciate you tuning in for this bonus video. Again, if you see anything that you're interested in purchasing, just shoot me an email and I will see you back soon with a brand new unboxing. Have a great day.